Marty. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome. Hi. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Such a joy to be with everybody, and and uh, welcome if you're viewing this on <clears throat> YouTube. Uh, Dave and Joan Maroney here with uh, Mother of Mercy Messengers, and our special guest today, Marty Rotella, and all of our all of all of the beautiful people yeah, really that are joining special us. Guests, and, all of that join yes, us. all of you folks it's been hanging in there for this novena. We're on day five because it's March fifth. We've had a wonderful lineup, but we're always so uh, love just to have our, our good friend, Marty. Um, he's always got so much to share. Some of you uh, have already noticed that today we finally, a few weeks ago, now it's already time has passed. We uh, got together with Marty to share our memories of him. And, you know, Marty, it's so funny, right? Um, Marty starts out so funny how he met Father Seraphim and his first experiences with him. And, um, and he actually, how Marty got involved with Father Seraphim, we had a lot to do with us eventually getting involved with the Marian Fathers too. So are you putting that on the screen or? No. No. Okay. All right. But we're, um, Marty, we're going to turn it over to you. We got about 15 minutes and uh, to take it, we thought, uh, un unless someone has a, an, an, another idea, we have Mercy Sunday on our doorsteps. And uh, we all need to start really getting prepared now and, and sharing with others. And I think there's a lot of, uh, I know that there's a lot of confusion over what we need to do to celebrate or not celebrate. But Marty, maybe we can just go with the Holy Spirit. If you want to open us up with a prayer, maybe a quick prayer and uh, see what we need to talk about. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We call on God the Father. Father, you are everything because Jesus taught us that, that we do everything for you. So we ask you to send your Holy Spirit into this hour yes. to lead us, to renew us. And at the same time, we ask that the prayer that goes up to you is used as divine mercy of Jesus for the whole world where it's needed the most. And we thank you from the bottom of our hearts for everything you give us, because you are an awesome God. Yes. Amen. 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 Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Beautiful, Marty. Thank you. Praise God. Marty. Yes. How did you feel when you first heard about Divine Mercy Sunday and the promises of that? Did it, how did that impact you? Well, even before we talk about that, I think what's really powerful is what is it and what leads up to it? We're in Lent. And when you think of Lent, you think of like Jesus' sufferings and you think of the crucifixion and Good Friday and, you know, but what we're leading up to is the resurrection. This is powerful. And we should be thinking about that during Lent. See, we, we, we don't. And that's why the Divine Mercy image, especially the Vilnius image, is so important. Because it shows us the resurrection. Jesus said, when you see this image, it's a pictorial image of the Eucharist. Wow. So, so we should be now looking to Divine Mercy Sunday in the, in the word of resurrection. Not only the resurrection of Jesus, but he promises his, our resurrection. So this is powerful. Uh, so I say during Lent, let's think of Divine Mercy Sunday as we're leading to resurrection. And boy, do we need it, need it. I call it reignite the fire. We need to be reignited and there's no better way than to lead from Lent to the Holy Tritium, Good Friday, Jesus dying for us, opening the doors of heaven, Easter Sunday, and then beyond, which would be Divine Mercy Sunday right after that. This is powerful. Reignite the fire. And? <laughs> <laughs> No, you're right on. Yes. Uh, 
Well, how does he reignite the fire? I mean, what happens? What are the graces? What? Well, what Why? Do you... huh? Marty's the guest. <laughs> no, go ahead. No, no, fill in, fill in, yeah. jump in. Yeah. Okay. This can be a, yeah. All right. So as you all, maybe you, you do know, maybe you don't know, but um, right at the beginning of the diary, early in the diary, when Jesus said, you know, she writes, one of the first things he told her on February 22nd, 1931, was to paint an image the way she saw him and to have it signed, Jesus, I trust in you, right? So he, he asked that this image be painted and that it be venerated around the world, that everyone have access to it. But he also said it be signed, Jesus, I trust in you, because he knew we needed quick, short, simple prayers. This is the heart of the message. But right in that same conversation, well, well actually what happened was she, so she ends up going to her, to talk to her spiritual director, which at that time, you know, was her confessor. So she goes to confession and she tells the priest and she writes about this, that uh, Jesus wants an image painted. And so father's thinking, and it sounds like he's thinking, boy, why you? yeah, Jesus wants a picture painted. And he says, well, he means paint him on your heart. And so Faustina is like, okay, cool. She um, walks out of the confessional, but the Lord tells her, no, I want an image that you will paint with a brush. And I want it to be solemnly blessed on the first Sunday after Easter. So everyone knows of my mercy. And I want there to be this feast of mercy. So he, and on this day, he promises that the soul that will go to confession, which is represented by the white ray on here, the cleansing ray of the water, that when we, re, we acknowledge our sinfulness, we repent of our sinfulness, we seek his forgiveness and reconciliation with him. When we've gone to confession and then we receive his life giving blood in, in the Eucharist, all of our sins and all of our punishment are completely wiped clean. It's actually the church official teaching of it. When you read the documents, they say it's likened to a second baptism. It is like a second baptism. And so I think there were, there are some people in the church. I know there's some clergy that are like, well, what do you mean? We're only baptized once and you can't get rebaptized. But actually, you know, um, if you understand really the theology of the church and the sacraments that whenever anybody is baptized and father Ron, we have you uh, here with us to, to prove this up. Um, when someone is baptized, no matter how old they are, what happens to their sin? You can unmute. We'll drag you in here. What happens to their soul? All right. Repeat your question there. I was focused when, on getting, getting myself yeah. volume. So when, when someone is baptized, you know, usually we baptize little babies, but there's a lot of people that haven't been baptized till they're 50 years old. Absolutely. Well, you know, when we're, when we are, when we are conceived in our mother's womb, we are conceived with sin. Blessed mother Mary is the only one conceived without sin. And so when we're baptized, that sin is called original sin is washed away. And there's a, just an amazing thing that happens there. There's even an exorcism that takes place. You know, so if there's anything negative in that child's life, you know, even they're even, you know, set free from that. So it's a, a lot happens at a baptism. <laughs> you know, yes, I, somebody was 68 years old and was baptized. The first baptism. And yeah, that would happen no matter who you are. If you're 60, 68, 70 years old. And, and you've never been baptized, when you're baptized, all of your sins, all of them are washed away. Even the things that you've committed those 60 years, it's all washed away. The original sin plus anything else you've done. But you can only be baptized once. And that's why, you know, in, in the beginning, they, uh, you know, the, the, many times they would wait until almost on their deathbed to get baptized <laughs> because, because of the sin in their life, you know? And so... That's not necessary. That's why we have confession. You know? I don't know if that clarifies it, but uh, it, it washes. It, it's, a, it's a cleansing that takes place. And, and, and all the sacraments, including baptism, have healing qualities. The first time I baptized a baby in the neonatal care unit of the hospital, he was dying. I baptized him and immediately his health reversed. 
wow. and he was healed. Wow. I have seen baptism mm -hmm. healed. So it's a powerful, so a lot happens in baptism. Amen. So, so everybody think about it, try to remember, and it hit me, I, I don't know, not that long ago, a few years ago, an Easter, and then actually after Easter, there's something that we do, a ritual that we perform, something that we were all asked to do. We renew our baptismal, baptismal promises. Baptismal yes. promises. And what happens? The priest goes around and the deacons hitting everybody with water. And one year when I got hit with that water, it was like a light bulb that went off. And I understood that this is why we can say, and the church says that on the Feast of Mercy, because we, Easter is celebrated, it's an octave. It goes from Sunday to Sunday, eight, it's an eight day long day, okay? And so St. Thomas Aquinas wrote that last day is the gr even greater than the feast day itself. It's the whole reason we have Easter. It's for the redemption, our, our salvation. And it's by God pouring this mercy upon us. So when we go through that ritual of renewing our baptismal promises and being sprinkled with holy water, yes, it's really happening as long as we're repentant. So when Jesus said on that day, when you've gone to confession, you receive me in Holy Communion, it's the Easter season. All, that's why he can give us the grace because that's technically what happens in a baptism. So we're not really baptized again. It's, it's the grace of Easter. It's the grace of divine mercy Sunday. So we can rest assured in the church did extensive study on this. And when you understand how the octave works and what's really happening on Easter, all of our sins, all of our punishment are completely wiped away. And I know for a fact, myself included, and probably many of you out there, that's why I was asking Marty when you, when I heard that and looking back on my sinful life and all the terrible things I did and understanding that we have to atone for those sins and make up that time in purgatory, that when, when we go on the Feast of Mercy, Jesus is giving us all a, an opportunity to start all over again. And that's why it, it, it is so powerful and so important now we receive that grace it's with the reception of holy communion so including the saturday night vigil so sometimes people would think they only got the feast of mercy um graces if they go to a three o'clock hour uh that you have to do the novena beforehand but really not it's it's linked to those sacraments and you don't have to go to confession on that day because not everybody can go to confession on that day the Lord is actually just reminding us as Catholics, you're supposed to go to confession once a year. You should be receiving him in the state of grace. And as Catholics, you, you have to go to a precept of the churches to go to communion once a year. And that's during the Easter season. So the feast of mercy is the Easter season. So it's really all linked to basically just being a good Catholic, doing what you're supposed to do as a Catholic. Go to confession, receive Jesus in the Holy Eucharist, be repentant and sorrowful for your sins, doing the works of mercy. All of our sins and all of our punishment are wiped away. And above and beyond that, I know this is supposed to be Marty's talk, but he turned it over to me. He gave me the floor. Because Father Seraphim said, make sure people understand, because Jesus said, the divine floodgates through which grace flow are open. I desire to grant unimaginable graces. So yeah, I, I want my sins to be cleansed and I, I want to be purified and I want to be strengthened in my faith. But God is so merciful. He's looking down on a hurting world and he's seeing people that need healing. They need physical healing. They need spiritual healing. They need their families healed. They, they need reconciliations. People are you know living in fear and they have temporal needs. They need jobs. They need to be able to make good decisions. And God is saying, the Lord is saying, he said, mankind will not have peace until it turns with trust in my mercy. And tell, tell souls to snuggle close to my merciful heart and I will fill it with peace. So I'm, I'm just letting all of you know this, that we have this great feast coming up. It is the greatest day of grace in the whole year. And we, not many people know about it. Not pe many people really understand it. So it's up to us to share that message with other people, 
to make sure they know what's available and that for us also to have a deeper understanding of what it's about so that we can be begging the Lord. We need an end to abortion in our country. We need an end to, to gang violence in our country. We need an end to pornography. We need the child trafficking, all these children to be healed and for this all to be, but it's all coming out now and in the great healing that we need. And I think more and more of it's gonna be exposed. It's gonna be so horrific what people are exposed to. It's only gonna be God's grace that pours down upon us and it's coming up on April 11th, you know? And it makes sense now, why during this time of Lent, like Marty were saying, we, why are we praying? Why are we sacrificing? Why are we almsgiving? Why are we, why are we denying ourselves to avail ourselves? Father Seraphim said, tell people that the more, it's like the mass, the more you put into it, the more when we pray, when we pray with the heart, the more grace that we get. So we really need these things, these cures in our, in our home life and our families for the hurting world, for, to, to end the evil, and we really want this. We need to show the Lord how much we want it. The fasting becomes easy. Almsgiving is a joy. You know, our prayer is a constant cry to the Lord Jesus. So that on that day where after he suffered and he died and he pour out, poured out everything to us, he can pour out a super abundance of grace on us and on the whole world. So... At the end, uh, we, we have, uh, we're going to be putting more videos out. I believe it's been on my heart so strong. This Mercy Sunday is the most important one ever. And, but we have this great opportunity. Remember where sin abounds, grace abounds even more. We, we have an opportunity to just really change things in our own lives, in our country, see miraculous things happen. And, and it's because it's the gift that God wants to give us, but we have to trust in it. And we have to ask for it and we have to work for it. Amen. 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 <laughs> you go, girl. Marty. <laughs> well, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and I thank you. And I, I thank the Holy Spirit through you. But one more thing this is really interesting. Oh, oh, over 100 years ago, uh, there was a Zoom meeting in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> and this this heavenly zoom meeting was brought together by the trinity and the trinity knew that 2021 would be here now so they set up a plan just like they set up the beautiful genius of the eucharist so this plan was divine mercy and it started in 1931 but not to really be given until 1980 now now it starts to 1980 until now it's exploding because they knew back 100 years ago at the zoom meeting that they needed this that not, not that we needed this we needed this and there's no better time than 2021 to cry out to the mercy of jesus christ this is it and and we didn't set it up the pope didn't set it up the Trinity set it up. This is powerful. So, so we have to look forward to Divine Mercy Sunday, not only for ourselves, but the fact of what we can give to the immaculate and sorrowful hands of our Blessed Mother so she can purify it, so she can multiply it, and all the saints and angels and give it to the Trinity for the mercy to come down on us, our families, and the whole world. Amen. 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 Beautiful. Yes. So let's keep zooming here. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to zoom across the pond to, uh, to Vilnius where our Lord is. A new day is dawning there in Vilnius. And um, to be before the Lord and open our hearts. And let's really use this holy hour today on this first Friday. Um, to, to ask the Lord to prepare our whole church, the whole world, and the people that have never known about uh, the Feast of Mercy and God's mercy, to, to, to have it open so that, that more than ever, um, souls are able to receive these graces. Okay, we're... We're zooming in. <laughs> <laughs> zooming. 
to Vilnius. Oh my gosh, from heaven. Lithuania. Lord, you are there. We're coming, Lord. The sanctuary of the divine mercy. Praise you, Jesus. And give me just one second. There we are. And so we pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Dear Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, it's a new day, Lord Jesus. March 6th there in Vilnius has just begun. And uh, so, Lord, we gaze upon your image. We gaze upon you, body, blood, soul, and divinity, an exposition for us on the altar. Lord, we know that you know our hearts. And Lord, there's, there's so much joy in getting together as we do and seeing everybody and the fellowship that we're able to have over, over the computer like this. It's really amazing. But Lord, we turn our hearts now also to, to those who are not so fortunate, to those who do not know you, to those who are suffering. And we beg your graces, oh, holy Jesus, your tender heart. And we beg your graces upon souls all across the world. And we know, Lord, that, that our faith as Marty was just mentioning, can, can affect others. And so we, we bolster the, the faith in our heart that you are the king. You, you are the risen, the risen Christ come to take away our sins. And so we love you, Lord Jesus. Let's do the spiritual communion prayer. So we begin with the prayer of spiritual communion. As you know, we mentioned, it's for those that have never maybe joined us before, I know why we do this, because the Lord asked St. Faustina to make a novena of Holy Communions on behalf of her country. And since we cannot receive Jesus sacramentally right now, we will spiritually. We can be just as efficacious. So, are you ready? Marty, can you... Read that on your screen. Do you want to, to lead us in that? Okay. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. And so we pray the rosary the great prayer as we ponder the life of Jesus. And we ask, we turn now to you, O Blessed Mother, Mother of Jesus, our Mother, Virgin Mother, Mary of Nazareth. And we ask your intercession in our lives, the lives of our families. And we ask for great graces to come upon our world come upon our lives. And so we pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, 
who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. And from there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. And for our Holy Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase in faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is, is now, now and, and ever, ever shall be, be world, world without, without end. end. Amen. Marty, you want to go ahead and lead the first decade? The first sorrowful mystery is Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. So just put yourself in the garden as he leans on the rock and he sweats and he bleeds. And he's consoled by the angel. But you console him too. Because he knows what's coming. Our sinfulness. And the pain he has to go through. So he can open the doors of heaven for us. Thank you Jesus. Our father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth. As it is in heaven. Give us, Give give us this day. Our daily, daily bread. bread and, and forgive us our trespasses. trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The second sorrowful mystery is the scourging at the pillar. Fruit of the mystery is mortification. And when I meditate upon the miss this mystery, I often think of uh, what Our Lady had told the children of Fatima. I believe that more souls go to hell for sins of the flesh than any other sin. And so we offer this decade in reparation for sins against the flesh. And we offer this decade for the grace for anyone that's involved in serious sins of impurity and, and against the flesh to, to be loosened of the demon that is controlling their lives, for them to find freedom, and through this sacrifice of Jesus, that all their wounds too would be healed. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, my forgive Jesus. us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The third sorrowful mystery is the crowning with thorns. The fruit of the mystery is humility. One of the major themes in the diary of St. Faustina is contemplating the passion of Jesus. And he mentions it uh, several times over and over in the diary. And one time he told her there is more merit to one hour of meditating on my passion than to a whole year of flagellation that draws blood. So, so Lord Jesus, we're gathered here and we're pondering your suffering, your passion, that you willingly suffered for us poor sinners. And we can't have complete understanding about it. We, we sit in awe of it. And we think during this decade of, of you after being scourged where the soldiers come along and place this crown of thorns and pound it into your head in excruciating pain. And we pledge our love for you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Go ahead, Marty. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. <clears throat> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. Amen. Kristen? The, the fourth sorrowful mystery, Jesus carries his cross. And in this mystery, I like to stop and think about the stations of the cross. Jesus is condemned to death. He accepts his cross. He falls the first time. He, he meets his mother face to face. Simon and Cyrene begrudgingly accepting to carry the cross with Christ. Veronica wiping the feet of Jesus. He falls a second time. He comforts the women. In his misery, he comforts the women of Jerusalem. He falls a third time. And then the, the tenth station I think of for the tenth bead typically is that Jesus is stripped of his clothing and he, he gives everything. He gives everything to us. He walks this journey and they're pushing him along. They, they can't get him to that hill of Calvary fast enough. And yet we have the opportunity to stop and walk with him and his, the Blessed Mother on this journey up the hill of Golgotha as he looks ahead to where he will redeem the world. And while it looks like misery has overtaken everything, he is looking at us with pure hope and love. And so I would ask in this decade, if we would consider the misery that we are, and yet we would consider that only in the light of the mercy of God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Okay, Marty. The fifth sorrowful mystery, crucifixion of Jesus. Go to the crucifixion now because we want to run. The apostles ran. But the reason we stay is because we're holding the hand of the Blessed Mother. So hold her hand now. That's your rosary. You're holding her hand and you're looking up. And Jesus' blood is pouring out of all the wounds for salvation of you and everyone that reaches heaven. What an awesome God. Thank him. Look up and thank him. Thank you, Jesus. And as he dies... They pierce his heart, and blood and water comes out his side. His mercy for you and me. What an awesome God. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. <clears throat> Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it, As it was, was in the, the beginning, beginning, is now, now and, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Hail Holy, Holy Queen, Queen Mother, Mother of Mercy, mercy our, our life, our, our sweetness, sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. And let us pray, O God, whose, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation. Grant, we beseech thee, that by meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we, we may imitate what they contain and, and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. For the intentions of our Holy Father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is, is now, now, and, and ever, ever shall be, world, world without end. end. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Faustina, pray for us. All you holy angels and saints, pray for us. In the us. name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And now we'll pray the prayer of Saint Joseph. Marty's going to lead us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. To you, O blessed Joseph, do we come in our tribulation, and having implored the help of your most holy spouse, we confidently invoke your patronage also. Through that charity which bound you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God, and through the paternal love with which you embrace the child Jesus, we humbly beg you graciously to regard the inheritance which Jesus Christ has purchased by his blood and with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities. O most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ. O most loving Father, ward off from us every contagion of error and corrupting influence. O our most mighty protector, be kind to us and from heaven assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. As once you rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril, so now protect God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield too each one of us by your constant protection so that supported by your example and your aid, we may be able to live piously, to die in holiness and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven Amen. Amen. Thank you, Marty.
And so now we'll pray the litany of the saints. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Here we go. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven. Have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world. Have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God. Have mercy on us. Holy Mary. Uh, Marty, will you do the response, the pray for us? Okay. Holy Mary. Pray for us. Holy Mother of God. Pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins. Pray for us. Saint Michael. Pray for us. Saint Gabriel. Pray for us. Saint Raphael. Pray for us. All you holy angels and archangels. Pray for us. Saint John the Baptist. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. All you holy patriarchs and prophets. Pray for us. Saint Peter. Pray for us. Saint Paul. Pray for us. Saint Andrew. Pray for us. Saint James. Pray for us. Saint John. Pray for us. Saint Thomas. Pray for us. Saint James. Pray for us. Saint Philip. Pray for us. Saint Bartholomew. Pray for us. Saint Matthew. Pray for us. Saint Simon. Pray for us. Saint Jude. Pray for us. Saint Matthias. Pray for us. Saint Barnabas. Pray for us. Saint Luke. Pray for us. Saint Mark. Pray for us. All you holy apostles and evangelists. Pray for us. All you holy disciples of the Lord. Pray for us. All you holy innocents. Pray for us. Saint Stephen. Pray for us. Saint Lawrence. Pray for us. Saint Vincent. Pray for us. Saints Fabian and Sebastian. Pray for us. Saints John and Paul. Pray for us. Saints Cosmos and Damien. Pray for us. All you holy martyrs. Pray for us. Saint Sylvester. Pray for us. Saint Gregory. Pray for us. Saint Ambrose. Pray for us. Saint Augustine. Pray for us. Saint Jerome. Pray for us. Saint Martin. Pray for us. Saint Nicholas. Pray for us. All you holy bishops and confessors. Pray for us. All you holy doctors. Pray for us. Saint Anthony. Pray for us. Saint Benedict. Pray for us. Saint Bernard. Pray for us. Saint Dominic. Pray for us. Saint Francis. Pray for us. Saint Pio. Pray for us. All you holy priests and Levites. Pray for us. All you holy monks and hermits. Pray for us. Saint Mary Magdalene. Pray for us. Saint Agatha. Pray for us. Saint Lucy. Pray for us. Saint Agnes. Pray for us. Saint Cecilia. Pray for us. Saint Anastasia. Pray for us. Saint Catherine. Pray for us. Saint Claire. Pray for us. Saint Elizabeth. Pray for us. Saint Faustina. Pray for us. All you holy virgins and widows. Pray for us. All you holy saints of God. Pray for us. Now the response is, Lord, save your people. Kristen, will you do the response? Sure. Lord, be merciful. Lord, save your people. From all evil, Lord, save your people. From all sin, Lord, save your people. From your wrath, Lord, save your people. 
from a sudden and unprovided death. Lord, save your people. From the snares of the devil. Lord, save your people. From anger, hatred, and all ill will. Lord, save your people. From the spirit of uncleanness. Lord, save your people. From lightning and tempest. Lord, save your people. From the scourge of earthquake. Lord, save your people. From plague, famine, and war. Lord, save your people. From everlasting death. Lord, save your people. By the mystery of your holy incarnation. Lord, save your people. By your coming. Lord, save your people. By your birth. Lord, save your people. By your baptism and holy fasting. Lord, save your people. By your cross and passion. Lord, save your people. By your death and burial. Lord, save your people. By your holy resurrection. Lord, save your people. By your wonderful ascension. Lord, save your people. By the coming of the Holy Spirit. Lord, save your people. On the day of judgment. Lord, save your people. Now the response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Marty, would you respond? Okay. Be merciful to us sinners. Lord, hear our prayer. That you will spare us. Lord, hear our prayer. That you will pardon us. Lord, hear our prayer. That it may please you to bring us to true penance. Lord, hear our prayer. Guide and protect your holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Preserve in holy religion the Pope and all those in holy orders. Lord, hear our prayer. Humble the enemies of holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Give peace and unity to the whole Christian people. Lord, hear our prayer. Bring back to the unity of the church all those who are straying and bring all unbelievers to the light of the gospel. Lord, hear our prayer. Strengthen and preserve us in your holy service. Lord, hear our prayer. Raise our minds to desire the things of heaven. Lord, hear our prayer. Reward all our benefactors with eternal blessings. Lord, hear our prayer. Deliver our souls from eternal damnation and the souls of our brethren, relatives, and benefactors. Lord, hear our prayer. Give and preserve the fruits of the earth. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant eternal rest to all the faithful departed. Lord, hear our prayer. That it may please you to hear and heed us, Jesus, Son of the living God. Lord, hear our prayer. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Joan, you want to respond? Yes, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I can just feel those rays of mercy pouring forth from the image down upon our prayer. Thank you, Lord God. And now we pray the chaplet of mercy. Another novena the Lord asked St. Faustina to make on behalf of her country. And remember, there are many, many promises associated with the recitation of the chaplet. Um, in one of them, the Lord said that this prayer will serve to appease my wrath. And uh, so we will pray this chaplet now in particular for uh, the intentions of everybody gathered here today. Everything that's in our hearts to place on the altar here in Vilnius. And also, um, as we've said before, to pray this chaplet in particular for those who are sick and those who are dying, remembering all the holy souls in purgatory as well. And um, the special intentions, I want to pray especially for um, Debbie and uh, her husband, um, 
Dawn, uh, suffering greatly right now, and as I promised, we lift them up in prayer. And I know all of you have, have intentions in your hearts, so just take one, one minute to uh, lead those. And then Marty will have you do the opening prayers, and then we have all of our people who agreed to lead a decade. Just a moment of prayer. Okay, Marty. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls. The ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. Fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, enveloped the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. Jesus gave us a beautiful prayer of blood and water. Let's say it three times. He said to specifically think of a soul, deceased or living, that you want a, his mercy to pour down on. So think of three people as we say this, and uh, he will definitely, because he said he would, pour his mercy on that soul. O oh, blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O oh, blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. Third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the, the Holy Catholic, Catholic Church, Church the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. 
Amen. Okay, Sue, you need to unmute. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have, have mercy, mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have, have mercy on us and on, on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Okay, Lita, are you there? Yeah. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of our, your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sin and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have, have mercy, mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have, have mercy, mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have, have mercy, mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have, have mercy, mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Okay, Diane. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious body of thy divine son, Jesus. Oh, I'm saying the St. Gertrude. Eternal Father, I offer thee the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, Go ahead, have Mike. mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, Eternal Father, I offer thee the body and blood, soul and divinity of your atonement for our sins and those, those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 
have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eloise. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and, and on, on the, the whole world. world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have, have mercy, mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have, have mercy, mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Thank you. Marty, you want to do the closing prayers? Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Would you say the last prayer? Because uh, I don't know it by heart. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible. Look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. In, you. in, you. <laughs> in the name of the Father, name of the Father Son, Son, and, and the, the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. And bef before we leave uh, adoration, uh, Father Ron, if, uh, if you would like to uh, extend a blessing, Our, yes, of course, Jesus. Oh Lord Jesus, we thank you and praise you for your love and your mercy. We ask your abundant blessings upon us. Thank you, Lord, that Marty was able to join us today. Thank you for the opportunity that we have as a community to come together and to pray. So I ask your blessing upon us all, Lord, as we continue our journey today. And let these nine days be a special grace-filled moment for us as we pray for our nation, pray for our church, as we pray for those who are sick and for conversion of sinners and all the things that you have promised that if we will turn to you, that we will pray the rosary and the chaplet and all, that you, O oh Lord, will indeed meet our need. The Lord bless you and keep you. 
The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious and merciful to you. And the Lord give you his peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen, amen. and amen. 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 Thank you. Most holy, most sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving, be every moment thine. Jesus. Amen. 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 Love you, Lord. Amen. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Oh, wow. oh, he's... <laughs> Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. All right. All right. Beautiful. Thank you, everybody. We want to thank you all for joining us again, and um, uh, especially Marty. And we have the Webbers and Father Ron that will be our guests tomorrow. So be sure you tune in to, um, yes, it is tomorrow, Saturday. It was my bad yesterday. Um, so uh, Marty, any, any closing? That was a really beautiful holy hour. I felt, uh, gosh, the spirit of God, like you said. Yep, pouring down. Do you have any, any, anything you want to share with us? I, you know, it, it, all it is, is, <laughs> We can't change anyone else. We can only work on ourselves. So make that a point during Lent to transform yourself now because the world needs a better you. So if Jesus was here, that's what he would tell us. He, oh. said, he would say, I need a better you. So whatever you can do, whatever you, you know, you know, look in the mirror tonight and say, Jesus, show me how I can be a better me. So I can make a difference. St. Mother Teresa would say, make a difference to one by one. You don't have to go become the president or the pope. Just one by one, who you meet every day. And I tell you, that's divine mercy working. Amen. Love Amen. you. Amen. Wow. Love Amen. You, Amen. Amen. We've had a, a couple of questions. Maybe we can touch on those before we go. Uh, my, is it Myra or, or Mira? How Myra. do you pronounce Myra. Myra asked uh oh it was up in the chat about uh if you know around what time jesus appeared to saint faustina on february 22nd 1931 and asking her asking her to paint an image well uh you know there was uh no electricity so when the sun went down it got dark you might imagine i suppose you know they had oil lamps and things like that uh and it was february in in poland uh you know it's quite uh dark. far north you know it's about the same as massachusetts i would think right so it gets dark uh earlier and uh thank you goodbye okay sue good night bye. thank you for joining us thanks for your prayers thank you. bye bye so uh, the di diary says, you know, when she was in her, her cell getting ready to go to bed. So, you know, we don't know what time she was getting ready to go to bed, but there is a, you know, so without electricity, there's not a lot of lights shining. And uh, there's a story that uh, there were some children outside yeah, playing. <laughs> There were some children outside playing, and they saw up in St. Faustina's room light, you know, the light of Jesus shining. And, uh, you know, the, there was no TV at the time. So, I mean, there was, you know, what's making that light? So they actually knocked on the convent door and asked the, the, whoever answered the door, you know, what, what in the world those, those lights were shining up in that, that one room. And, uh, I think that story was kind of put together perhaps after St. Faustina passed away. I don't know. I'm just, just kind of, of guessing that. So, you know, that puts it uh, a time when there might still be, you know, some kids outside uh, in February 22nd. It, you know, it probably wasn't a warm and balmy night there in, uh, in uh, where, oh, she was in, where was she when she had the, uh, was it in Krakow or was it in Plock? 
I think it was in Plot. I think it was in Plot, Poland. She was in a smaller convent. So anyway, that doesn't matter. So I, I got one comment. One comment. Um, I don't know. That's a beautiful story, and that's probably exactly what happened. But I just pictured Jesus arriving at her door, knocking with a pizza. He was a pizza delivery <laughs> boy because it was supper time. That's that's <laughs> what I pictured. <laughs> You are so Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have the pepperoni. Well, here's an interest. Here's a really uh, interest. The the date thing is the date. Here's another Father Seraphim thing. February twenty second. So he goes back. This is nineteen thirty one, and he looks to go to see what day was February twenty second. It was the first Sunday of Lent that year in nineteen thirty one. Well, that is. In the Orthodox Church, in the Eastern Rite Church in particular, it's called the Feast of Orthodoxy was celebrated the first Sunday after Easter. Google or use some other form of searching. <laughs> but the, wait, wait, the Feast of Orthodoxy, the first Sunday after Easter. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm so used to saying that. The first Sunday of Lent. The first Sunday of Lent is when they celebrated, celebrate the Feast of Orthodoxy. And what is that? Well, there had been a period of time in the church where they, where um, uh, Islam was coming in and they, they destroyed all the icons in the church. And actually there was a big fight even in the church. Are icons good or not? Didn't we kind of go through that in the 70s, 80s? Maybe it's a battle where still, you know, where they wiped everything out of the churches and you don't need, you're not supposed to use these icons. Well, they actually, the church ended up having a, uh, a council about it. And they decided that no, that using images was good. And that it was because it helped us focus on the humanity that Jesus was both God and man. And when we look upon his image of him as Christ, Jesus Christ, we're able to connect with the God man. And so they said yes to, to use them, to put them in churches, to have uh, icons, to put them on vestments, to put them outside, you know, like shrines on the road. And it took a long time. It took about 50 years for this, the church really to start bringing these icons. And I believe to this day in the Eastern Rite Church on the first Sunday of Lent, guess what they do? They have these beautiful processions with statues and icons where they're walking around with with the uh with their icons so how cool it is that on this day on the feast where the church has actually proclaimed and we celebrate that iconography is good that a visual image of christ is good that jesus says paint an image like you see me and i want it to be venerated <laughs> around the whole world and how beautiful that we have uh, the image of Jesus, which that is an icon. And in the Eastern Rite Church, if you ever have the, the, the opportunity to visit in an Eastern Rite Church, you'll see that with every image that they have, angels, saints, um, uh, that they always have a votive candle. If they have 50 icons around the church, every icon, has a votive candle. Why? Because an icon represents, it's, it's, it's like a portal. It's, it's a pathway for, for grace to flow from heaven down to us and for our prayers to be lifted up. And I think, I wish we did that more in our churches, you know, to remind us not just of Jesus truly present in the blessed sacrament, but this is our connection to heaven. And that's why we try to have where you have your blessed image in your home. We recommend that you have, see if you can have a votive candle there in a safe votive um, vessel and keep it lit to remind you that this is your connection. And this is why Faustina would see the rays of mercy go from the image. She even saw go from the image to the Eucharist. That makes theological sense when you understand iconography. So yeah. yeah. How cool. So that the day that, that she had that vision, um, not so sure about the hour, but we know it was nighttime, but it was on the Feast of Orthodoxy. The, the Feast of Icons is, a, is another term for it. That's cool. That's really cool. And That's perhaps cool. One, one last question. And, and Father Ron, maybe, maybe you could comment on this. Uh, Christine asks, why don't more priests uh, talk up Divine Mercy Sunday? <laughs> 
I've only known about it for a few years now. Oh, we're putting you on the spot, Father Ron. <laughs> I, 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 missed, I missed the question. I was uh, busy trying to get the, <laughs> my let microphone. Me, let me the audio, the yes. <laughs> so why oh, don't more priests uh, talk up uh, Divine Mercy Sunday? That's a really good question. I wish I knew the answer. <laughs> I talk it up. I talk <laughs> it up. But I, I have noticed that in many dioceses, you know, it's not that popular and I don't know why but there are here and there you have priests that have Divine Mercy Sunday celebrations and it's really a puzzle I I, I wish I had an answer for that all I can say is there are those of us who do you know and we have a great devotion to Divine Mercy Sunday. As you were talking about February the 22nd, you know, February the 21st this year was first Sunday of Lent. Oh. See, oh. so I mean, first Sunday of Lent this year was the 90th, the 90th anniversary because, it, right, 31 to 21? Yeah. The 90th anniversary. And so let's be excited about the fact that Our Lady, I mean, yeah, Our Lady is present. Our, our Lord, the divine mercy, Jesus has made himself present to us. And what a way to start Lent. And so right now, that's why I honor you for having this novena, even on a monthly basis. But right now, what a way to have to, to, to start Lent is, is to put divine mercy at the very heart of it. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, and thank you for that. Sure. Thank you for for giving us divine mercy. Thank you for giving us this novena that we can pray together on Zoom and really focus on Jesus. And, and, the, and you've already mentioned about our adoration that we have. Yeah. And I encourage people, if anybody's free at nine o'clock central time, we have adoration every night. And I also noticed that there are a number of uh, adorations. If you go to Facebook, you can find, or, or YouTube, you can find adoration a number of situations where people are having adoration in different chapels and churches and we are honored to do so here and we have we have people that come in and join us we chose to do that at nine because that's the time when people are winding down getting ready for bed and what a what a nice way to end the day mm -hmm. so that's why we've done it at that time of the night it's good. It's idea. a beautiful time of prayer. It, it really is. Yes, you guys. Yeah. I, I want to ask Marty, do you want to add to anything? Because you traveled so much to, you know, uh, talk to so many priests. You, you want to address the clergy issue? Yeah, I, I think I think Father hit it right on the nose that it doesn't matter who is not into it as a priest. It doesn't matter. What matters is, is the Holy Spirit has led the right priests in their hearts to really promote it. Uh, just for instance, uh, I'm going to Las Cruces, New Mexico at the cathedral this Divine Mercy Sunday. I'll be the speaker Saturday night and then the bishop and the pastor there, we're gonna have a two hour adoration at three o'clock on Divine Mercy. It's gonna be beautiful, honoring Jesus. So there are a lot of them out there. Uh, up in Santa Fe, New Mexico, there's three or four priests that are just exploding with it and that and that's a very liberal area so so the key here is is that don't worry the holy spirit has them all over all right they're hidden they're not out there that they're hidden but it's it's really big it's powerful in prayer and these are wonderful wonderful men yeah and it, I, it, I, let me let me share something do you what was it three years ago when we had a conference on divine mercy sunday and, and uh, started on Saturday, it was all day Sunday. But Marty and Dave and Joan were there and it was actually a, um, a physical healing by the doctors. It was a, a hole in the heart of a child was filled in that was uh, taken to the, the hospital in Dallas and it, it, was, it happened and so it was all documented. That's the word I'm looking for. So anyway, so people, there's all kinds of things that people can do. And it was a beautiful time. I don't know that we'll ever get to do it again, but it was a beautiful time of, of healing. And, and so I suggest that if any of you can, 
And, and I'd like to just say one more thing. I think that the idea of the priests who are not, I think we can see the tendency from many years ago before the divine mercy became uh, okay, you know, for people, but we need to pray for our priests. We really need to pray for the faith of our priests. Mm -hmm. Which yeah. Attacked by the enemy. And that's Re a good part of it. You remember, remember this. Thank you, Nan. That, that, that's awesome. Remember this that if the Holy Spirit is 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 uh is igniting a few priests, that's great. But the Holy Spirit's also igniting a lot of lay people like us. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And, right. and, right. and, and, yeah. and and when you put it together, there's there's where heaven is rejoicing. So between us and the priests that are doing it. We, we, it's it's awesome. It's awesome. Let's let's just look at the positive side of it. Yeah. And and I have one what one, one point. When you have ten children like we do, and they're all raised in the divine mercy tradition, and they have forty eight grandchildren out there, the divine mercy message is spreading. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Glory Amen. You done your and part. It, <laughs> and it, you know, it's Divine Mercy Sunday, whether your 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 pastor mentions it or not. You know, the graces mm -hmm. are there. Of course, it it's you know it's it's deep in our heart, and we would love for our pastor or you know our priest to to talk about it. But uh, those graces are there, so we can hold that in our heart and trust in God's God's mercy. Amen. Amen. Right. Yeah. You don't have to do anything extraordinary. You know, as long as you know, and you're, again, you, you receive Jesus in the straight of grace Saturday night or Sunday. Um, and if you can't get there, this was another big thing that uh, Father Seraphim made sure that we tell people, because maybe you're taking care of a sick person. Maybe you've been in an accident. Maybe you got called to work or whatever. Maybe you're a soldier on a battlefield somewhere. Right. You know, um, you, again, that spiritual communion works. Sure. And because God, you know, his mercy is unfathomable. So we put a whole lot more. We, we met a lot of people that, oh, I didn't do the three o'clock or, oh, you have to pray the novena or, oh, you, you have to receive co uh, confession on that day. That is not true. That is not true. I right. mean, it's a great way to celebrate the feast day. It's a great way to take advantage of the extraordinary graces. I mean, if you have the feast of mercy, where the Lord is pouring out an abundance of grace on that day. And then you have a holy hour on that day, you know, in with the blessed sacrament and you go to confession on that day. Oh man, then you're really, you know, raking it in, but it's not a requirement to receive the grace. It's more important what's in your heart. And um, so it, it's, it's available for everyone. And we have a, uh, can you grab, on our website, there's a, in our store under Divine Mercy Sunday, we have a bunch of materials available and we have a great flyer that you can pass out. So even if your priest isn't doing something, you can put them, there we go. This is our new one. Oh, beautiful. Wow. And uh, on the back, it explains what you have to do to receive the graces. Oh, wait, me... And it even has the... Um, yeah, put it up there. The, now put it up there? Yeah, can you? Okay. It even has the official teaching of the church how it's likened to a second baptism. Okay. It says normally, only, um, ordinarily, only the sacrament of baptism affects the soul. In the soul, the complete forgiveness of sin and punishment. But reception of the Eucharist and the state of grace ordinarily remits only venial sin by strengthening the soul against both venial and mortal sins. And it states from the catechism. But... On Mercy Sunday, reception of Holy Communion worthily and with trust in God's mercy pours out upon the soul a complete renewal of baptismal grace. Father Ignacio Rosiski, former member of the Holy See's International Theological Commission. So if anybody has a question or, or a priest challenges you, you just you can send them to this and um, and what you need to do. So anyway, hope is this is helpful. Uh, you can order them to pass out all right yeah pretty nice. good job. all right good job. yeah good, good job, job. <laughs> thank you all right okay all right well with that with um that. we again invite you all uh, did we stop recording no we're oh, still we're recording okay. so let's <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and let's say, say goodbye to all of our uh 
all the people joining us on uh, YouTube and watching this at a later date. Thank you for your God. prayers. God bless you. God bless you all. Man. God bless America. Go tomorrow.